I hope you guys are ready to check out some automation, because today, we're building our factory and getting all the tier 1 stuff automated. So get ready for a pretty freaking big episode, brother! Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory! Where last time we got started. We took our baby mining steps, we built a couple drillers, a couple machines, but today, oh today, we will be building, or at least starting, a true industrial complex, building factories, conveyor belts, and just, just everything. So if you're excited for that, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Anyway, I am getting triggered by the typo in the in the middle left, where it says craft biomass at a beater energy source. But we'll get to that. First things first, conveyor belts. Last time we got some iron, we got copper, we got concrete. But we have to bring it all together through our smelters to our processors with conveyor belts now. So we just unlocked the technology. I'm not sure how it works, but it looks like we got a little one of these guys. And really, I just need a conveyor belt from... One darkness to another. Now, how is this supposed to work? You just do a uh, bada boom, a bada boom, and then, huh? So it's like just like that, eh? No, no, no. Can we go to there? And then to there. Oh, I see it. It's just like a point and click type thing. You can't. You can't be serious. So now. When something is produced in here, little miner, my dude, you're coming with me. So if we put something in here, it will just automatically go into here. Oh my god. It's that simple. It's that simple. And then it goes into the constructor and we can build anything. Oh my god. Oh my, I'm over it. We're just getting started and I'm overwhelmed. Okay, that's not all. That's not only the new. Th all right, that's not the only new thing here. We also are able to now build power poles. No, conveyor poles. No foundations. So we can actually start to make like a proper building, and a proper factory at that. So, first off, let's just build a foundation, just to see. Obviously, just a platform. My main thing is, I want to build up. I want my factory to go into the sky. I want to speak with the sun. So, how do we make tall buildings? Oh, we're out of materials. Okay. Okay. Apparently, this takes a lot of stuff, so we're going to have to really automate a lot. Now, do we just build above now? Ah, yes. It just attaches to the wall. So if we make the wall a little taller, we can just add on floors like it ain't nobody's business. Okay. That is hyper, hyper simple. And these two simple concepts, conveyor belts and floors, will make our a great and epic factory. So we really have to find a place to begin and put like the main base of our tower. So. It could be in this field here. And then we have another option of right over here, which is kind of like the golf course area with the good old bean monsters. But then if we build down there, we can see everything from this gorgeous view. And I think that's what sold me. So we're gonna build down here. All right, so I think this is about it. We will begin putting our platforms down. They easily just click together so it's not like a huge issue and hassle trying to line it all up. We build instantly. Oh my lordy lordy. That's nutty. But we are going to need so much concrete for this freaking build. It's going to be insane. Like actually insane. So let me grind some materials for the next little bit. And then we'll get our platform all set and done. Alright. Well this is a pretty decent foundation decent amount of space at least considering how big the machines are now next thing is going to be bringing all of our resources here 
And how I want the factory to work is simply put, the raw materials will gather up on the bottom, and then they will continually move up this tower and be further and further refined to some of the most advanced things in the game. So a big thing for making this factory is going to be storage. So uh, hub upgrades are something we've been going after, they've been unlocking all the stuff for us. So now <coughs> we need a storage container, which is legitimately the next thing. So uh, that is some more concrete in place. Ultra simple stuff considering what we've been crafting. So a hundred plates, a couple little leaves things, uh, my concrete, and some tubes. Easy upgrade. Hop upgrade four. Base looks largely the same. Couple more lights. Oh, Congratulations. hey. You have unlocked hub feature, additional biomass generator. Ooh. New buildings, which can be found in the build menu. Okay. Ninth objective, hub upgrade, molecular analysis. Note, to ensure full mastery of skills and equipment, I have been asked to not interfere with this last objective. Good luck. Don't need your help. But w what does that mean? Build miners to fully automate resource mining. Add buildings to your to-do list via the build menu. And the power network can be overloaded. Manage it well. Yeah, because... When we're building bigger things, we are going to need big, uh, more power, right? Hmm. Space elevator, biomass burner. That's on the next level. So what did we learn with that last upgrade? Just the storage container, right? Okay. Well, that'll help us get started here. So that's going to require a lot of rods. And if it's a lot of rods we need, it's a lot of rods we will create. So, recipe, iron rod, thank you very much. Start our crafting. We need a, a lot. A lot, a lot. And you know, maybe we should make some more of these comboed machines. Start doing some temporary processing over here, and then reorganize it in our main base. Oh, and also here, it looks like we're going to be able to actually automate everything now by making actual mining factories. So no more of these little temporary drill things. You are coming with me, buddy. And then we replace it with that. So we just need one of these. All right, there we go. We'll put some more of that in there for now. And now let's make the miner. Wow, that's a, whew, that's a big old drill right there, baby. Wow, okay. There we go! Our first mining drill! Let's power it up. Boom! Bada bap! And now we can connect it up with a conveyor belt. So just a simple this, right? Need one of these. Oh, it tells you when it's lined up perfectly. Thank you, game! And then this just works like that? You just click, and it's done. That is the simplest stuff I've ever seen in my life. Oh, and this automatically moves you too. Dude. <laughs> Woo. So we can have our own little like highways. <laughs> and I don't have to run everywhere. That's so fun. Oh my gosh. All right, so I'll set up a bunch of these at each of our three resources, get them kind of all hooked together and go from there. And that's our concrete. And there goes the copper. Now witness the humble beginnings of our industrial empire. So, I got the miner hooked up to the copper. We got it hooked up to our iron. And we got it hooked up to the concrete limestone stuff. And now, we have to bring it together into our base which is really crooked and I probably will switch it. Maybe we'll see. Uh, first off, I was gonna bring everything to the base right now, but I realized that if we upgrade our hub a bit more, perhaps we can get some more useful things for organizing and setting up our factory. So I quickly wanna do that first. Ooh wee, but I never really looked down at the bottom here and saw the requirements for this milestone. That's a lot of stuff, man. 
Okay, though, guys. We got it. Took a little bit. Ba ba da boom. Let's do it. Let's upgrade our base. So 150. Easily done. 150 of these bad boys. 500 copper wire. And a little bit of cement. And we're upgrading the hub. Level 5. Ooh, we got a cool little, like, platform up there. Oh, no, it's not a platform. I don't you even know. Unlocked hub feature, molecular analysis machine, also known as the MAM. Building, biomass burner. Building, space elevator. Ooh. Motivational message. Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future Ooh. service. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal what? has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. What's that? That wasn't there a second ago. The man provides the opportunity to send samples of xenobiology and other materials I deem relevant to R&D in exchange for appropriate rewards. Oh. Note. Future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and thus initiating project assembly. Good luck. Ooh, a space elevator? Whoa, whoa, what is all this? Oh, this is the ma'am. So we input stuff here. Interesting. Whoa, whoa, time analysis. Okay, well, one second here. Whoa, whoa, tier one stuff, utility. Oh my, ah, here we go. So we have biofuel, dude. Lookout towers? Conveyor splitters, that's what I was looking for, man. Oh, personal storage box? A beacon, object scanner, conveyor walls? This is all the stuff I needed to build the factory. Part assembler? Whoa, that thing looks nuts! Rotor? Modular frames? A chainsaw? <laughs> Jump pads? Jelly landing pad! So we can have jump pads all around our base. Walkways? <gasps> oh my gosh. And then we get into this tier three stuff after we build the space elevator. Well, <laughs> how do you build a space elevator? Couple screws, right? Biomass burner, yeah. So we can add in more power. Constructor. Space elevator. That's actually oh 1500 copper wire. I was gonna say that's not actually a lot, but that is a ton actually <laughs> Oh my god Well first things first I want to get all of the basics done So I want infinite iron plates rods copper or sorry just wires uh, cables, like all this kind of stuff, I want it automated and in one central location. Our base over there. So we are going to need a couple things for that. First off, we're going to need these things. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We're going to need these things, the logistic stuff. And then we're going to need these conveyor walls. And really, it looks like it's just a ton of simple stuff, but a lot of simple stuff. So it'll take me a second. I'll probably expand our production over here a bit. In the meantime, though, I did find a space slug thing last time. It's just sitting on a cliff, so I suppose we'll put that in there. There we go. And we'll analyze it. It's only going to take a couple minutes. Alrighty. Sounds good. Anyway, what's to do? Lots to do. Time to get production underway. Oh my, oh my, though. It seems that things aren't as easy as I thought. I was hooking together all of our things, and I blew a fuse, apparently. So, essentially... Oh, let's just get out of that. What I did was I reorganized our iron production so that we have two drillers now. And since we don't have the splitter... Each has their own uh, processor, so we can make both of the essential metals at once. That's the plates and the tubes. And it looks like one, 
two, three, four drillers, and a ton of that just is too much for our one bio burner. So we have to make another. <laughs> oh, if only things could be more simple. So before we reset the fuse, let's see. How does this work? Biomass burner. It's, it's cheap. So that's good. We could just throw it like right here. Looks cool. And yeah, we'll just sh uh, put it beside our other ones here, eh? Why not? Boom. Good. Now I just need to quickly reorganize the wiring and we should be fine. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm linking all these four power poles together. So there's a ton of connections we can make, like from here to over there and from here to over there. And now if I hook up all of the generators into this mess, hopefully it doesn't blow up. That's kind of the hope. It's a little janky, for sure. But now when we reset the fuse, it won't blow up on us. Yeah. Yeah, oh. And no, it's not. So it went over for a little bit. But now, oh, our capacity is way up higher because we built the extra machine. Oh, so hopefully it won't blow another fuse. So even if this doesn't, doesn't have any fuel, it increases our capacity in order to power more machines regardless. Interesting indeed. Alrighty though. Now with all of our machines online, I'm gonna go ahead and just add on some temporary uh, storage to all of them so we can produce the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of materials we need. So one there, and uh, one over here. Yeah, just looking for that green line so it's all nice and organized. There we go, and sure, we'll put one on the concrete too because we are going to be building a lot. And it's temporary, I guess, so psh. we'll throw it over there. Boom, bada boom, easy. Wow, those things are freaking huge, brother. All right, and over here, boom, bada bop. And the last one right over there. Cool, so infinite plates, infinite copper wire. This is going to be the tubes and concrete. And for those milestones we're after, or I guess the tiers we're after, that's all they really require. Oh, and what's this? Overclocking? Oh yeah! So I scan that slug, and apparently we can make these overcharging crystal things? But, uh, the overclocking buildings thing is not there, so I presume it's locked in this alpha right now. Hmm. Alrighty, though. Well, back to what we're doing. This and the conveyor walls. It'll be good from there. Oh, and check this out, guys. So, you might argue this is a little lazy, but I went off gathering leaves, and you know what? I just made a storage container for the leaves, it goes into a constructor, and now I don't have to click anymore. It makes all the biomass for me. It's a pretty big waste of power, but you know what? Hey, this is about building industry, building factories. At the end of the day, do as little work as possible. So, <laughs> we're gonna consider that fine. Also, these grass blocks, 10 out of freaking 10, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, and check this out. So for these like milestones, we're actually sending stuff up to like our bosses up in space. So attached to our little starting place, we have a rocket. So launching the pod actually launches a rocket from where we're at. Ooh. So is that going to launch? Conveyor belts Dude! Merge and split we're launching rockets already! Efficiency of your factory. The productivity display Whoa. will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings we're... to aid with optimization. Uh, it, oh my god, now that is how you get a milestone, man. 
That is the coolest freaking thing. And I think the 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 story lore here is we're working for Fix It. He just sent us down here, and now we're just sending stuff back up. We're doing our job. And Pod will return in two minutes. That is oh my god! I <laughs> like everything in this game is just so cool. But now we have the conveyor splitter and mergers. And next up, we just need these walls. And we can start setting up our base. Oh, and here comes the rocket again. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Oh my freaking goodness. So now, next milestone is going to be this again. We'll select it. We can start loading stuff into it so it's out of our inventory. Whoa. Actually, I think we can get that right now. Tubes and some plates? I think we have tubes and some plates. 63, yeah. And then over here, what am I doing in there? Storage. Duh. <laughs> yeah, we got lots of tubes. All right. And that's both of those done right quick. So bada boom. Ba-da-ba! -ba. Let's launch the rocket again! And there we go! Milestone reached. Hope you're happy, Change bosses! Optimal use of space, navigation, and tidiness. R&D have developed stairs and conveyor walls. Perfect. See you later! Oh god, that is- ah! That is just so freaking awesome, man! Okay. Well then. It's time to figure out these conveyor walls and stuff. So, in organization? No, it's in walls. There's all of our new walls. So this attaches the wall, our a conveyor belt to the wall. We can have three lanes attached through this wall. Okay, okay, two lanes. And this is just a decorative feature then? Yeah, they cost the exact same. Just depends on how you want your beast to look. So you can do a little bit of mix and matchy design or whiny. And stairs. So we can walk up our ground tower. And the merger. Merges up to three conveyor belts as one at once. And a splitter. Splits the conveyor belt in three. Oh. Alright. Well then, next phase of the plan. I've extended our platform quite a bit. I'll probably extend it a lot more. And then, we're gonna want everything to gather up here. All right, so I gathered a ton of materials and crafted this, our skeleton base. And we are going to bring all of our production here and make it epic and efficient. And I have a great idea how to bring everything together. So, uh, now that we have conveyor belts, and we have the splitters in uh, logistics, right? There we go. We're gonna have an iron conveyor belt with all the iron going down this way, and then it's simply gonna split it up into a bunch of furnaces. Like, it's nothing too hard. And I believe that the splitters will split up the stuff evenly, so... Uh, Hopefully this works out. So then we'll have a second one here. And then we put in another splitter. There we go. And you're kind of seeing how this goes. So we can expand this forever and then <laughs> we can just make all the iron in the world. Now to start things off, I've hooked up four of these bad boys, and I just want to do a bit of a proof of concept here. So, I just added on this quick little storage thing. We're gonna throw some iron in here and see what happens, really. So, if all is going to plan, then this will evenly split. This one will get full of stuff. Move to the next one, move to the next one, etc, etc, etc. And this is an ever-expanding system, which will work forever. Okay, so it is splitting. This is a uh, running. And it's splitting down here now. Hmm, okay. And the rate's kind of just slowing down. So what about 
what happens when this one gets full? Is it going to just move through here faster? That's kind of like the big thing we need to see. Uh, I don't think it will, to be honest. But we gotta check. So, give me that stack. Thank you very much. Let's overload the first furnace and see what happens here. So, bada boom. It's full now. So, it's working slower. So, is this moving through faster? Or is it just piling up? To be honest, I can't really tell. Okay, and after watching everything kind of go through here, I need to overload this thing more. So I'm going to shut down both my or my iron mines and hook them both up to this and just see what happens. Do something kind of temporary. So there we go. Just in a giant messy freaking line. All the iron is being pumped onto one belt. Oh. Oh. Belts can be overloaded. I didn't even consider that, to be honest. Interesting. So we don't need both of them running. Okay. Let's just let this one connect. And that's just running through. But now we'll get a good test and see what happens here. Okay, so this first furnace is filled up at a hundred and a hundred, so it can't be loaded anymore. Ah ha ha! So it does keep moving on down. It's moving and it's a grooving. Good! So then it will fill this one up. Fill the next one up, fill the next one up. Da dee da da dee dee da! Perfect! That means this is an expandable system that we can run indefinitely, really. However, our limiting factor now is these lines. So I suppose I could double this up, have another line coming in, and more furnaces on the other side. Okay. Or I have a bit of room over here. Yeah, you know what? I can reorganize it to make it work, essentially. Alright guys, well it might look a little crazy, but considering what we have learned, this should pretty much be maximum capacity for our two miners here. And I left some room for some expansions. So in case we find some more nodes and need more iron, for whatever reason, we can expand on the system. And essentially, it just works as I explained it before. Stuff enters through here, gets split off until the first machine's full, next one, next one, next one, and there are two lines, because the line was getting too full with the two ore miners pumping iron onto it. So now we can handle both the ore miners mining at full capacity because we have the two lines. So it works its way all the way down here. And at the end, if we have any extra stuff, I've added on this little merger here so we can expand the system even further if we want. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of space here too, just in case we have some iron like way over there or something that we bring over, I don't know. Is there any iron down there? Not really, but eh. Extra space and a little bit of redundancy is always good for a factory. So now I can just do a similar type design for the copper. And the copper side is all ready to go. I didn't add in the extra four furnaces to the other side though, because we only have one copper node. However, I did add on these stylish walls. Both style and function though, because I need to add in the conveyor belts up top here. So bada boom, bada boom, same with on the iron side. With the iron side though, I'm sure we're gonna have another two uh, iron nodes to hook up. So we're gonna save those for later. For the two up here though, since copper isn't as essential, or it doesn't seem as essential, I'm gonna hook my two uh, concrete plants up to these top two lines. And that's where our concrete's gonna come in. So we mine up limestone, and that has to be constructed into concrete, so it doesn't need a furnace. So I'm gonna have to make its own little separate system for that. So that's probably gonna be off in this corner? I'm not sure. The next order of business is bringing the rest of the stuff to their constructors, because this is gonna take up a lot more space, and the concrete can kind of be done later. It's not a very complicated process at all. 
This will be, though. This absolutely will be. So all of our iron is going to come out through here. Yikes. And it is just going to be a mess, to be honest. So let's get rid of that. We're going to have to expand this way a little bit. And figure out what the heck to do here, man. Because I want all, like, the furnace and, like, basic processing on the bottom. And then my constructors on the next floor. Because of, remember, again, we want a tall factory. So we don't want to have everything jam-packed onto one floor, right? Right. Okay, and it should be relatively simple. I just have these mergers here. So we'll just merge it all onto one line. This might overload the line with stuff. Not a hundred percent sure, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens, really. So bada boom, bada pow, bada bang, and then we'll bring it off over this way. Oh, and fun fact here: with conveyor poles, you click once and then look up. Check it out. We can raise or lower them. Ain't that something neat? So we'll definitely want to raise them up for this next little part. That's for sure. There's going to be many more lines coming through here. Woo! <laughs> this is cool. It's like its own little mini game. All right. And then in the middle here, we have to bring them up to the next floor. So goodbye, floor. You are going to be super conveyor belt land. And you know what? Just for looks. I kind of want some more light in here, too. Yeah, let's get rid of these. There we are. And that will give us some space for lines and for maybe some viewing platforms later on. So we can admire our work. Well, I got the conveyor belts going on up. And they're going straight to storage container buffers and then to constructors. So, I just set up some very basic stuff on the second floor here, just to make all of the tier one stuff. I was spending like half my life putting together these conveyor belts because, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh man, it was difficult. But, all tier one stuff ready to be produced. So that's like metal plates, uh, iron rods, and that kind of simple stuff. Copper wire, that's the other one. Uh, one problem though is... Um, er, we don't have any power. Go figure. But running all these factories on nothing but leaves isn't working out. <laughs> so we have to find a better power source before we can bust this thing on and get our factory actually online. But I think that's going to have to happen next time. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you tomorrow for the next part. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye-bye.